Okay, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit about variables and how they work in the program. In my previous video, I talked about the label and go to statements. I am going to use uh, the same pro program to uh, do this test. So the program is already here, label. I'm just going to press enter to run it one more time. I want you to remember these numbers. I'm going to put one and I'm going to put two. Okay, so at this stage, the pro program is running fine. So I'm just going to enter a zero to exit. Now I want to go back to the source code and show you the variables. So we have num1, which essentially takes a user input, first user input and store into a variable called num1. The second input statement does the same thing, takes the second input from the user and store it in a variable called num2. And then we have uh, this uh, calculation that happens here. The sum of num1 plus num2 is going to be stored in a variable called res1, short for result. And the difference is going to be stored in a variable called res2. And we have last one variable that is our, uh, you know, uh, for loop, you know, for the loop. So if L is equal to 1, the program is going to run again. If L is equal to 0, then uh, it's going to exit. If L is any different number, then we are going to get uh, this uh, invalid message statement here. Okay, so... We have, uh, you know, num1, num2, res1, res2, and l. So what happens is that we just declare this variable just like that, just all over the place, randomly, you know. Uh, we really haven't done much with them. So if I go back to home, and uh, it's going to make sense a little bit. So if I put uh, num1 here, this is what's going to happen, num1, okay. So we get 1. Num2, obviously we are going to get 0. Because what the program does, essentially... It's gonna store every input into those variables and it's gonna keep them there you know it's going to keep them there and uh, there could be a, this could be a, an issue let's say you you want to you know manipulate like a, like an expression you know not everybody uses uh, X you know X is just a variable I guess it is the most popular one but not everybody uses it or at least you don't have to so if I put a 4x uh, minus uh, Minus, uh, you know, 19x. Uh, let's do something more. Let's minus, uh, okay, let's do a uh, 145x minus uh, 489x. Okay, let's say you don't want to do this in, uh, in your head. You don't want to do the calculation in your head. Okay, so you can easily do this. And uh, obviously, it's going to give you the right answer, you know, negative 344x. But what if you are someone who like to use a... Uh, L as your indep independent variable. So if you put the same thing, 145x, okay, minus 489, I mean L, not X, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. So obviously, you know, you should get a negative 344L, right, with the only change being the variable L instead of X. But if you press enter, check this out, we get zero. So this can be really, really confusing, you know. People might start panicking. What's wrong with my calculator? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just the way we wrote the program. Okay. So to fix this, there are several ways of doing this. You know, <laughs> the <laughs> the most, uh, I guess, the thing that I wouldn't recommend doing is uh, going to Varling. So you are going to find all your stuff here. I don't really recommend you come here. If you don't know what you're doing, you can mess some things up. You know, so all your var variables are going to be here in the main folder because that's where they uh, were created. Okay, so you can either come here and delete them. You know, if you delete L, it's going to delete it. And I just did that uh, using the delete key. You can also go to F1 and uh, delete, delete it manually. Make sure it is highlighted. So if I go back home and uh, try to do my operation again, then uh, I should get the right answer. Negative 344L. Okay, but that is just a temporary fix. Okay, if I run the program again, then it's going to take in the new value and it's going to store it. So to fix that, let's go back to the program. So we can either, I'm going to show you the first uh, method. So the first method is uh, but at the end of the program. So just make sure before the program ends, I like to put that at the very end. Before the program ends, uh, there is a... A statement or a command called uh, this is command command is called a uh, delete variable is uh, the syntax is a uh, d l v r and then space you put up uh, you know the variables you want to delete.
Okay, so you have to type these out manually. So since I remember all the names, I'm just gonna put them here. Okay, so num one, comma, num two, comma, res one, comma, res two, comma, L, five in total. Okay, so what this does is it's going to delete all these variables every time the program ends. So once the program ends, okay. So this is one of the way of uh, fixing the issue. So let's go back. Okay. So now let's uh, go here, var link, just to show you all these names here. So we have num1, num2, res1, res2. We don't have L because I already deleted that. So if I put label and run the program again, okay, we're just gonna give it, you know, random numbers, four, five. Okay, the sum of my numbers is nine, the difference is negative two. Would like to continue uh, no I want to exit now if I put L then L is equal to L because that's how it's supposed to be okay and if I go back to var link oh look everything is gone I don't have num1 num2 you know my program is working fine but the good thing is is now none of the variables are are being stored or not none of the variables are taking are, are not storing any value permanently you know every time the program uh, stops then now uh, it's going to delete those variables but let me show you why that is not perfect in some cases so if I run the program again and I put this number and uh, in the middle of the program I want to exit let's add a second number and it's asking me do you want it to continue if I just press on it's going to break the program and uh, if I exit and go back here since the program didn't have the time to finish because I stopped it in the middle of the process, then it's still going to retain those variables. So that sucks, doesn't it? So there's another way. So let's go back to label. Okay. <laughs> so let's go back to label. And I'm just going to break it one more time. Just go back to my source code. So this is the another fix for it so I'm just gonna go at the very bottom just copy these variables okay copy the whole thing shift and the direction key okay control X I'm just gonna cut it and I don't need this deal delete variable because he's it's, it's didn't really fix my problem my problem okay so I'm gonna go to the very top diamond key up okay so at the very beginning of my program I'm going to put another function called uh, local Okay, and then I'm just going to paste my variable. So that is also the sentence for local. So what this does, it's going to create local variables. So these are now our local variables. So all these variables are going to be used within the program. When the program stops, then they stop. It stops. I mean, it's not going to store anything. Okay. So let me go back again. And but now I'm going to have to delete all these variables, right? So... I gotta make sure I don't select the problem label because that is our source code. That's why you don't want to mess with this stuff if you if you don't know what you're doing. So delete and uh, yeah, confirm yes label okay. So now if I go here enter my numbers, okay, continue no I wanna exit. If I go back to var link, ah. Okay, so it is working fine, right? But if I do this in the middle of the program and I decided, okay, I want to stop and I'll go back, go home. Okay, go home and I'll go to var link again. Wow, look at this. There are no variables, so there is no confusion. So yeah, that is that. So if you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section. And uh, I think I made a mistake here. Uh, actually, yeah, the queue... I gotta remove that because if I were to run the program, it wouldn't work. I should need to put a quotation here. I'm using my phone with one hand because, <laughs> not quotation, <laughs> because I don't want to block the mic. But yeah, so that is that. Uh, so that's how you uh, deal with variables. So they don't, uh, there's no conflict. There's no conflict with your other stuff. If you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section.